this is um, going to be the part one of my top 11 Toho Daikaijus, or for you Westerners and East Europeans, uh, Giant Toho Monsters. So, let's uh, start off with number 11, Baragon. Bar Baragon is, uh, I think, is a terrifying monster. He can breathe fire, he can shoot energy from his horn, but most terrifyingly, he can dig and live underground. I mean, what's more terrifying than a monster that can come out of the ground and grab you and then pull you back underground? And that's a terrifying monster if I've ever heard one. And that's but uh, I put Baragon really quite low down on the list because he doesn't have... In the whole of uh, the Toho universe, he only ever appeared in two films. Once in 1960... I think it was 1961 or 1962. And then once in 2002 in uh, Giant Monster Duel Attack. So that was uh, number 11. Number 10. Hedra. Or as it was known in uh, America as the Smog Monster. Or Hedora. I don't know why, but in England it was pronounced Hedra. 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 But um, still, I find a very terrifying monster. And, um,. Well, the concept of Hedra is basically a monster that feeds on pollution, waste, uh, p uh, air pollution, the chemical waste we dump into the seas, and um, it also feeds on uh, fumes from cars, it, it feeds on industrial factories and that. And the more pollution it consumes, the bigger this thing gets, and it can produce sulfuric acid gas and kill people, and not only that, but can shoot red death rays from its eyes, so that's terrifying. But, but um, yeah, pretty low down on the list. Only had ever had one film, and made a brief cameo in Godzilla Final Wars. Number nine, Manda. Now Manda, best way to describe how Manda looks is a giant, well, a Chinese dragon, really. It looks like you took the head from one of the Godzilla suits and stuck it on a long uh, snake's body and then added f the odd higgledy piggledy arms and legs. Um, Manda, one of my favourite Toho monsters. Um, but, um, it's got three films to his name uh, Atragam. Uh, 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 late 50s, early 60s. Um, uh, Destroy All Monsters, 1968. And, again, a brief cameo at the beginning of uh, Godzilla Final Wars. Unfortunately, we don't see him again for the rest of the film, because he got killed off. That's a pity. Number 8. Titanosaurus, fr as seen in Godzilla versus Mechagod... no, Terror of Mechagodzilla, sorry. Terror of Mechagodzilla. Uh, best way to describe this one? A more aquatic version of Godzilla, except with a longer neck, and um, I'm not sure, more like an aquatic dinosaur or like a crocodile, because... Okay, my reasoning is good... My theory about Titanosaurus, this is my personal thought, Titanosaurus uh, started off much like Godzilla, because Godzilla was a uh, two-legged dinosaur and got hit by an atomic blast and got mutated, so my theory is uh, Titanosaurus is something similar, except instead of being a two-legged dinosaur like a mixture like Godzilla was, a mixture between a T-Rex and a Stegosaurus, my my th my theory is uh, Titanosaurus might be a, uh, a, mos a Mosiosaurus or a Cryptoclidus, perhaps. You can find out what those are by looking up on YouTube or on Google Images, because I'm not going to bother telling you about this. This is about Toho monsters, not dinosaurs. Hey, that's a thought. Nah, nah, forget it. I'll probably edit this bit out. Um, number seven, 
Gigan, as seen in Godzilla vs. Gigan. Now, uh, uh, James Rolfe, the Nintendo nerd, he, he did a bit of bashing on Gigan, or particularly Godzilla vs. Gigan, 19, I think that was 1971. No, sorry, it was 1974. Um, because Guy. I don't think it was one of the worst Godzilla films. That's his only seen worse. Godzilla's Revenge. That that was an awful film. Um, I admit Godzilla vs. Megalon was quite an awful film, but um, Godzilla vs. Gaiden, at least I'd give it at least two, two and a half, maybe three stars. Definitely worth a watch. I mean, it's, you don't only get Gaiden, but you got Godzilla, you got Angelus, and you also got um, uh, King Ghidorah in there as well, which I thought was a pretty neat idea. Uh, so, um, I mean, what could be cooler than a, than a giant space monster with a huge red, uh, visor-like eye, like on the, um, like, uh, the robots from Battle, Battlestar Galactica, Cylons, right, and a giant buzzsaw running from his chest down to his crotch, and enormous, uh, double-edged hook blades for hands, I mean, what could be cooler than that? Plus he can fly, you know, <laughs> so, uh, uh, number six, Rodan. Now again, Rodan has a lot of films, but he's not exactly my favourite Toho giant monster. But what can I say? Um, best way to describe Rodan, just like Godzilla or s the rest of the monsters back in the early days during the fifties and sixties, they were described as dinosaurs mutated by, you know, nuclear radiation or something like that, but, uh, Rodan was really a, like a pterosaur or a pterodactyl or something that was, again, mutated by a nuclear blast, but, um, it, just the fact that he can travel at faster than the speed of sound, I mean, the blast waves he create can destroy buildings and God knows what else, but, um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's my top 11, from number 11 to number 6, just a quick recap here. Uh, number 11, Baragon. Number 10, Hedra. Number 9, Manda. Number 8, Titanosaurus. Number 7, Gigan. And number 6 was Rodan. Uh, stay tuned for part 2, where we'll be doing 5 to 1, and, and you'll see which, I have, uh, which one I have voted my top uh, number 1. Uh, Toho Daikaiju. So, uh, well, see you for part two.